What's goo y'all? Welcome back to the lab with another quest build. I've got a very rare blueprint for y'all in this video. For those of you looking to play on an absolute defensive juggernaut center hatch that can also space the floor with a very nice jump shot, can finish inside, and has some nice playmaking ability on the perimeter, this might be the blueprint for you. This thing has shades of Marcus Camby, Chris Stapps Porzingis, Tyson Chandler, and David Robinson, the Admiral. This is the seven foot, somewhat catfishy rim protector. Now I've seen a couple of these catfish type builds on YouTube and in the city. One thing I like about these kind of builds is what you see when you line up across from your opponent is not necessarily what you're gonna get. When you see a rim protector, you're thinking, oh, this dude can't shoot, he's just an interior defender, probably can finish a little bit, not really probably a playmaker, but with this build right here is completely different under the hood. It really has a nice jump shot, can put the pill on the ground, but also it can protect the rim. So we're gonna jump in here, we're gonna make this at center. You're gonna be seven foot, 226 pounds with a 7.6 wingspan. And you know we're going body shape built because we wanna look menacing on the wood and on the crete. And when you see rim protector, you don't wanna necessarily be a little bit of a peanut, but that could also add to the catfish ability. So follow along to a T to get this name and then tinker at your own discretion in your builder. At the end of the day, it's your build. You could do whatever you want but playing on something like this could really be kind of spooky in the right hands because I don't think people are going to be able to figure out what this build really is all about. We're going to get our close shot to an 80. That's going to be a badge thresh. A lot of these are going to be badge threshes. You know, we're trying to maximize the potential of the build. We're going to get our driving layup to a 63. We get our driving dunk to a 79 with that silver limbless takeoff. Get our standing dunk to a 94 gonna give us those big man contact dunks and then get our post control to an 80 that's gonna unlock that Hall of Fame postman technician gold back down that's gonna give us 24 finishing badges as a rim protector this thing can absolutely bang inside it can also attack the rim if you do get it you know 15 to 20 feet extended from the paint um, and then when you do get this on the block you can put dudes in the rim with that 94 standing dunk and then you have a nice repertoire of moves very admiral esque on finishing Tyson Chandler you know going up and getting those lobs as well but shooting this is where the build really shines we're gonna get our mid-range and our three ball to an 84 overall then we're gonna get our free throw to a 60 add that little atch just for that nice round number it's gonna give us 24 shooting badges so looking at pie charts in recent years it's gonna be a blue and green pie pretty much you can finish you can shoot this is a very all-purpose three level scorer to this point and the 84 three ball and midi on this build Ridiculous. I don't know how this is named a rim protector with these kind of specs, but you're going to be able to shoot the pill with the best of them. And again, the catfish name, people are going to disrespect you off rip on God Square left side curtains. And then playmaking, we're going to get our pass actually to a 77. And then get your ball handle maxed out and your speed with ball to a 63 maxed out. It's going to give us 14 playmaking badges. Again, on this build, you're going to be able to pass the pill efficiently with that 77 pass actually. And then you can you can handle the ball when you do get the defensive rebounds. You know, you can kind of take it yourself or you can isolate a little bit, um, you know, on that short corner wing. Or if you do get the ball on the perimeter, you can put it on the floor and you have a decent array of weaponry with playmaking to be able to create plays for your team on a rim protector. But then defensively, I mean, this is where the name, you know, we're going to get our interior defense to a 72. If you go too high, it'll change the name um, to a certain degree. But we do want that brick wall on bronze because we don't want to be a peanut and a water chestnut. We want to be able to, you know, help our teammates out in pick and pop situations and off ball getting people loose. Then we're going to get our perimeter defense to a 54. That's going to be a badge thresh. We're punting steelies, not the priority on this build. But we're going to get our block to a 92. So you see I just went a little bit high there and it's going to up other things. Again, got to be safe when you're in the builder. Some things might go up if you tinker a little bit too aggressively. That's going to give us a 92 block that's going to be able to lock down that paint. And then defense rebound, we're going to get this to an 85. It's going to give us that silver 
rebound chaser and a badge thresh and then offense rebound we're going to get that to a 63 and got another badge or two that's going to give us 21 defensive badges this is very marcus camby tyson chandler on the defensive end it's not necessarily going to be a post lockdown but it is going to be a realm protector not only a rim protector because you're going to be blocking shots into the fifth and sixth row you're going to be able to grab rebounds with that silver rebound chaser and you're going to have some nice allocation overall without taking yourself out of plays and then physicals, we're going to get our speed to a 71 and then max out our acceleration to a 70. Sometimes the strength goes up when you add a little bit of attributes, like I said, aggressively. So we're going to get that to a 47 and then put your vertical to a 75. We want those big man contact dunks and then put the rest on stamina to an 84. Let's give this build a once over 24 finishing, 24 shooting, 14 playmaking and 21 defensive badges. This build is an absolute menace. It really has an amazing offensive game. It can make plays, it can shoot at all three levels. It has big man contact dunks, can finish inside with some nice post control. But then defensively, you are a literal rim protector who can also rebound and hold its own um, defensively guarding multiple positions. What I really love about this build is the fact that it is a catfish name in a sense. When you see rim protector, like I said, I think a lot of people are just gonna disrespect you off rip. But don't be disrespecting this build because it can do a lot more than just hold its own in the paint defensively. This thing can be a key cog on any squad. Going to take over, you get shooting, playmaking, interior D, and post. I actually like post playmaking, you know, just switch it up on this build and then limitless range. Add some nice tinge to the already strengths that this build can conjure up. And it really is going to go bananas in the right hands if I do declare. You're going to end up with one of the rarest names in all of 2k23 the rim protector like i keep emphasizing these catfish builds i'd rather be a rim protector that can shoot finish and make plays than a sharp who can you know do some other things because your opponents can disrespect you disregard you offensively and then once you prove that you got the stick work that you got the plums they're gonna have to respect you pull the big man out the paint and then it just opens up that much more room for your teammates. I would love to play with this build at the wreck on my squad, being able to just know that that monster is behind me, but then offensively knowing that this build can actually do more than meets the eye. I think this is one of those dangerous builds that in the right hands could take over a game on both sides of the court. But what do you guys think? Would you spend your hard earned VC investing in this hatch? What do you think of the catfish variants and when you see these archetypes that you think it can do one thing but it actually has a whole arsenal of abilities? Do you like these type of builds or do you think it doesn't matter because it does it all boil down to stick work, IQ, and the skill gap is untamed anyway? Let me know in the comments because you know what time it is. Quest Sparrow.